Hi folks, this is Gene from Flight Point, and today we have kind of an unpacking video. So the guys from Chess Servo, this is the new and uh, I bet awesome servo manufacturer on the market. The guys from Chess Servo were very kind to send me a few samples of their new additions to the global DLG servo lineup. DLG and all the other RC gliders on the market. So literally they have three different variations of their servos. One is LV06, uh, HV06, which stands for low voltage and high voltage, and also DS06. And we'll unpack every every part of it, of those. Uh, they also have this very nice booklets for for each of those and um, like there's all different kind of information as you see lv and hv those two can be like with different tabs can be without no like with no tabs for the uh, wing mounting and for, for the vertical mounting just a regular stuff that you usually put into the fuselage of let's see um, f5k gliders you can put those in maverick f5k and falcon f5k that you that we are offering on our website ds06 is produced only in in one size so you, you just have the regular tabs so let's just put this aside and uh, go back to the interesting stuff uh, i got a couple of these just a few so i have a hawk pro the new addition to our lineup of the RC gliders uh, ready for being assembled. And um, I will definitely put a few, a few of these servos inside just to see uh, how, how they perform in flight. I bet they will be nice, but just, just wondering. Um, just a side note, we'll have the re our regular reviews for all of these servos ready on our channel uh, later on, and I'll put the links to to the exact tests with each of these servos in the in the description of this video. Also, there will be a blog article where you can find all the other tests and where you can compare these servos to all the other different ones available on the market right now. Uh, as you see, the servo is very tiny. It's like, I think it should be six grams. Should weigh around six grams, I believe. It is 5.8 grams. It's less than six grams. It got metal casing. It got decent control horns. Very nice. It got metal gear. Uh, it's uh, uh, cordless motor so it looks very nice then we have by the way this is the low voltage one so it works in a range from 3.3 volts to up to 5 volts so like do not connect this to your uh to a slide point directly as you could sometimes do with with some other servos on the market let's now look into the at the high volts one standard pack with with the control horns, oh nice. You can see, like you can just, by taking this servo out of the box, you can clearly clearly see the difference between low voltage and high voltage. High voltage is like this nice red coloring, nice red metal casing. And this is like, you, you can also see the difference between standard tabs, like which will mm, allow you to install the servo vertically and the wind mounting tabs where you can put this horizontally. Very nicely built. I like the build quality. Yeah, it's just, just nice. And now let's check the DS06 as well. Oh, nice. With DS, considering that you can have it only with the standard tabs, Chess Server also provide you with this kind of adapters i'll just show you how you can how you can use those yeah this is the probably the, it looks like 
like it's plastic, looks to me, uh, but still very nice quality, also metal gear, also curlless motor. And this is like this server is a little bit thicker than uh, HV and LV variations. So DS is slightly thicker, but not, not, not a lot. We also have all the standard control horns here. Nothing special in terms of packing, except for, for these two guys. So since you can't order DS06 in the wind mountain variation, like you can use just these things, which you put on like this. Here we go. Which you put on like this and you can use them like on both sides and adapt the position of your servo inside the wing. And basically you just put these mounting tabs on and this way you can mount this servo into your wing like without gluing. So you just screw the screw it in. It got fixed like this. And if you need to replace it it's at some point, you just unscrew the your unscrew your screws and you're done. Very nice Mucha servo. Very like this one. Just put this back. Cool. And now I got like just looking at these servos, I bet you you can also notice that. It looks very similar to KST and I have KST06 V6 just for comparison. I was wondering how how these servos compare. So this is the 06 well-known servo. 06 variation is quite good in terms of centering and stuff. So I just was wondering how those two compare. It looks like the DS is about the same thickness. So let's just double check on the, on the parameters. So it says 7.4 white and 06 should be seven millimeters thick. Yeah, it's seven millimeters. So basically it's a little bit thinner if you look at those vertically. And at this, but at the same time, DS06 is slightly taller, just a fraction, maybe. Yeah, just a few millimeters taller. But in general, I think the screws are located at the same at the same places. So in case you you was like you would like to replace your KSTs with DX06, I think that will be a bolt on replacement. If we're talking about the low voltage 06 variation. Uh, I'm comparing these two because basically, for example, when you use X06 servo in your DLG glider, usually you run those on 1S LiPo. So 1S LiPo, um, you usually fly it like between 3.7 and 4.2 volts, give or take. So like the best replacement for KST06 would be the uh, LV06 variation. And uh, it's tinier, like, look at that. It's way tinier. Like if you, if you take the thickness, let's compare the, the thickness on the box. It says six millimeters. So X06 X06 is seven millimeter thick. Um, LV06 is six millimeters thick. You can see the difference. That's like, this thing is tiny. Um, talking about the, about the um, tabs positioning, it's also a little shorter. Like you can see, I mean, let me just replay it. Show it to you like this. Do you see? Oop. It's smaller, it's way smaller. Uh, however, if, we t if we're looking into like from, from the side, it's a little taller, just a little bit, like the same as 
as DS, probably. Yeah, just the same. So this is the new lineup of small servos for DLG gliders from the new manufacturer, Chas Servo, which looks really nice. I personally very like the, the, the feel of it. Looks very decent. So yeah, as I mentioned, we'll, I'll, I'll be running some more tests to see how they perform, how do they center, how do they run on different voltage. And I will put the links to these videos in the description of, of this one. Also, there will be a link to our blog article where you can find the complete comparison and summary of all the tests that we did with different DLG servos and choose which one you like, depending on the budget, depending on like whether you're flying just on the weekends or you're flying competitions and stuff. So thanks for watching. Please like this video, please share it with your mates and uh, see you in the next video.